Welcome. How are you doing today? Okay, blah, 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 Brian Laundry. Everybody's sick of hearing his fucking name. But I make videos because I need someone to talk to and I'm a lonely motherfucker. So uh, there are people who are disappointed that his remains were found after like a month long manhunt. And then there's people like my boyfriend who, when I was like, hey, did you hear they found Brian Laundrie's like skeletal remains? He was like, ha ha, yeah, yeah fuck, fuck him, him dude. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, shit. I was kind of disappointed because, I mean, you know, mysteries. People want answers, right? But I mean, even if he had been taken into custody alive, we were never guaranteed answers. You know, considering his family hired an attorney, like, immediately. I feel like even if he'd been taken into custody and, like, slapped around and interrogated and, like, you know, law enforcement, like, shoved a whole hand down his throat trying to drag some answers out of him, we still weren't guaranteed answers. You know, like, I feel like his, his family probably would have hired him a, a pretty good criminal defense attorney. But it's always disappointing when we don't get um, the answers that we want in these situations. Like um, Tara Grinstead, that case is interesting. Tara Grinstead went missing in 2005 and like, it was just like, huh? And no fucking idea what happened. What happened? And then in like 2017, this guy started a podcast called Up and Vanished where he was like looking into the disappearance of Tara Grinstead. And the podcast was such a fucking hit that like people who knew shit started contacting the podcaster. Hey, Payne, you want the truth? Here's the truth. Bo told me everything. He's been living with us for a long, long time. And the case was fucking crap. But then there was a gag order immediately placed on the fucking case. And because the, so many people had been following the coverage, the, the defendants requested like a change of venue um, because it was not really going to be possible to find like a, a jury pool that was impartial from their area. And uh, four years later, still still hasn't gone to trial. <laughs> yeah, fuck him, dude. <laughs> you know, another case that I followed was um, this dude, Chase Masner, who went missing. And the last person to have seen him, he went and stayed over at his buddy's house. And I, I think they were doing drugs together. I'm trying to get the Coke, Roxy's. Crack the, or... The 30 milligram Roxy pills. I think... Uh, Chase Masner had like an opiate addiction. No shade. Me too, dude. But yeah, Chase Masner was never seen again. And the guy whose house he'd stayed the night at even did a fucking interview with Nancy Grace. Do you think he's dead? I don't know. I mean, I, I hope that he's not. To be like, shit, listen, look, look how fucking innocent I am, dude. I'll, I'll do an interview with Nancy Grace. I don't know anything. Um, yeah, see, I, I don't know about that, but okay, I'll just <laughs> take your word for it. But then years later, when that guy sold his house, they fucking, like, dug up his patio and found Chase Masner there. And, I mean, that dude went on the fucking run. So there was a manhunt for him. Police tracked him down, took him into custody, and years later, fucking nothing. So we were never guaranteed answers. And um, law enforcement fucked up pretty badly. Like, they immediately lost their only person of interest. Yeah, fuck them, dude. But I mean, you know, uh, another example of, like, law enforcement dropping the ball, and we may never fucking get answers for this one. Maybe if somebody starts a podcast, they can solve it. But shit. The Delphi murders. You know? It's coming up on five years. It'll be five years in February. That, yeah, these two fucking, like, 13, 14-year-old girls went on a little hike on, like, a public park trail, and, like, some weirdo showed up and fucking murdered them both. And initially, when they were reported missing, the police declined help in the search from outside police agencies the local cops were like yeah fuck, fuck them, off dude. we got it but they didn't got it 
They should have allowed the state police to come help them. But they didn't. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. Yes, you were. <laughs> and they called off the search. They were like, ah, it's late at night. It's getting cold. Fuck them, dude. <laughs> and it wasn't until, like, they resumed the search the next day that, like, they found these girls. Dead. And, uh... <laughs> Brilliant police work. In the beginning, they interviewed a witness. Or a few witnesses. I'm not really sure who all was at the park that day. That case pissed me the fuck off so much. I used to Google it every day. And then after a while, when I realized we're not guaranteed answers, I had to, like, back away from it because it made me too angry. But yeah, police fucking interviewed a witness and they, they had two different sketches. Uh, but they circulated one sketch. And... What happened? They circulated that same sketch for several years before they finally went, ooh, never mind, wrong sketch. And then put out the alternate sketch that they did get at the beginning. What happened? So yeah, these fucking girls even fucking, like, got photos and videos of the dude who's probably the one who killed them. And they still can't fucking catch him. They have audio of his voice down the hill. And then they just went, yeah, let's circulate the wrong fucking sketch for a few years before we go, wait, 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 never mind. Forget about that one. Forget about that one. This is the one. So it is really disappointing, but we are never guaranteed answers, no matter how fucking badly we want them. I want to thank you for listening. I feel like forgiveness is very important, so I want you to forgive yourself for the time that you have wasted watching this video, and have a good day.